the show. How I was getting. I listened to a lot of people. Me. It's Kid Craddock in the morning. So uh, I might be the worst parent ever. So uh, Kason and I decided to go. There's a field over by our house, Kelly, and it's yeah. just a big, huge field, and it has a soccer net, soccer post, or whatever, a goal. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to teach him to play sports. And I figure if it's I teach him... not even two. I know, but he's the size of a three-year-old, so I figure if I get him started early, yeah. by the yeah. time he's like five or six, he'll be so much further ahead than all the other kids. You remember seeing shots of Phil Mickelson at two, yeah. swinging a golf club, and look how far that got yeah. him. Tired so too, yeah. I put Kaysen in his little uh, plastic car, and I pushed him all the way down to the to the field, and I brought a soccer ball along with me, <laughs> and we got there. Right. And uh, he wanted nothing to do with the ball. He wanted me just to kick the ball. And then I would kick it as far as I could kick it, and then he wanted me to run and get it. And then he, <laughs> and then he, he you how to play. So we, ba- I basically p- played fetch with myself. Well, maybe, or maybe he just wants to be a cheerleader. No, well, Aww. that's fine too. Aww. That'd be sweet. You can meet a lot of girls being a cheerleader. You can mm-hmm. get a scholarship cheerleader yeah. too, uh-huh. which is fine. So he was having a good time, laughing at me, chasing the ball around. And one of those times where I kicked it, I was running away from him, and I look back, and he's over. In some area of the of the field that we had not been to, I guess he ran over over to it, yeah. and he's stomping around, and I see water coming up. Okay. The weird thing was that the water, the, the field was dry, so I was like, "Where's all this water coming from?" Uh huh. You know, it's just some random. So I walked over by him, and it was it was kind of a stream, and it, it lined up around the field, and there yeah. was a bit of a hill, so I figured maybe some water came down, and it just created a stream. Yeah. And so he's pointing it, and I'm like. Whatever. His his shoes are already wet. His pants are already wet. I already lost this battle. If Kids I, love puddles. Yeah. It's, it's cool. And mm-hmm. if I pull him out of it, he's going to throw a tantrum. I don't want a tantrum right now. I want him to have a good time. So I let him play in this puddle. All right. And uh, he eventually fell over, landed on his back. He thought that was hilarious. So he starts doing these splashing <laughs> things and little angels in there. And he yep. got all muddy. And it's fine because I could wash your shirt. No problem. All right. So And I started wondering, I'm like, where is this water coming from? Oh, no. And I started following it, and it came from behind this wall. And I said, oh, they might have a leak or something. So I just made sure. I walked up there, and I turned this wall. I turned around the corner of the, where this wall is. Yeah. Oh, and I see about eight porta potties. <laughs> <laughs> And it's one of those where my jaw dropped, oh. and I just look down the little hill, and I see Kaysen playing in this water, and he's oh. having a good time laughing and staring. Kaysen's he's making God. sewer angels. He's making poop and then, Yeah, and then I'm sitting there doing this, like, I start lifting my knees, like, I want to run in place. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. It's, it's so already gross. too late. It's so gross. I don't want to touch him now. <laughs> oh. So I look down, and I'm like, Kaysen, stop. And he just looks at me, and he's like, stop. So he gets up, and he pops down on oh. me again, because that's what stop means. Well, damage is done. Now. So damage is done. Oh, wow. So I gotta walk down there. I'm like, right, how am I gonna get this dude home without making sure he puts his hands in his mouth because he like he's a thumb sucker. Oh. Oh. So I walked down there and he had a long sleeve shirt on. So what I did was I pulled the sleeves over his hands and I tied him. I would have stripped him naked. Well, well we still had to walk. We had to walk home. Just put him in the car and run. But I needed hold to make sure he didn't put his hands in his mouth. So you made a baby straight jacket. So I made a baby straight jacket. <laughs> oh. I, and I cuffed it behind his back so he couldn't pull it forward. You hog tie him? I know it's bad. I told you I'm not a good parent. So, so I tied his you. pants and his hands together. So I made oh. it so that it was behind him, and then I sat him down in his car as carefully as I could so that I wouldn't get all Actually, gross. Actually, I think that that's pretty smart. So he's he's sitting there and he's trying to lift his hands and he's getting angry and uh-huh. we're like. Five minutes away walking from our house. So the whole time he's crying because I'm getting him. And all these people are staring at me like, why is he have his son tied up while <laughs> he's like walking you're kidnapping. home? <laughs> you're kidnapping someone. It absolutely look like I may have kidnapped this child because he's screaming. Oh he's tied up. I'm just pushing him along. And people are sitting in their front porch looking at me like, why is this? And I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, happy uh, happy Sunday and all that My good stuff. My son just played in poop. <laughs> so I get him home and I just strip him naked. I take everything off and I put him in the shower and I just turn it on warm and I... Give him the best bath I could possibly be, give him, and now I'm like, I just I, throw those clothes away. I'm just I trying to throw them oh, away. I'm yeah. trying to make sure Kinsey doesn't come home because you know I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from Kinsey. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I already know I screwed up. I don't need it. So happy you got him bathed and ready for bed. Oh, yeah. Isn't Look, that honey. a shame though? You were trying to do something dad fun, oh, yeah. and nice, and take him to the park <laughs> to play soccer. And the last thing I expected was him to be swimming in poo water. <laughs> And so oh, I, I so give him a shower, gross. and I'm thinking, how am I going to break the news to Kinsey? Because that's going to be the toughest part, because she's very hormonal, and you know how women get when they're hormonal. We lose. Do you have to tell her? 
I don't know. I don't well, know. I mean, is that something that has to be no. told? So no. I was I was going to tell her up until the point when she got home with Chloe from the mall. Mm-hmm. And when Casey and I were sitting on the couch watching football. And I could tell she got home and she was not very happy because <laughs> Chloe was not. She was kind of fussy. And, and so she walked in and I could tell she's not happy. She's like, how did it go with Casey? And I was like. Perfect. We all good. <laughs> Watching a little football. Is, hey, what is, why does he stink? So, <laughs> wow. Kenzie uh, just heard this story for the first time. Oh, no. I, Sorry, I, Kenzie. I figured honesty is the best policy, but I did not want to be home when I told no, her. No, no. Uh, oh, dang. You know what? To get even with you, she's going to text you the score of the Chargers game. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, do it, Kenzie. <laughs> Subscribe now for more videos from Kid Craddock in the Morning. And check us out at KidNation.com. It's Kid Craddock in the Morning.